Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is gonna be an unboxing. I have five shoes right here. I've been buying a lot of stuff and they all arrived around the same time so I figured I'd go ahead and do a quick unboxing and show you guys my most recent pickups. Real quick though, it's a little bit hot in here. I got the AC blasting but I'm still feeling the heat a little bit. So if you see me start getting a little sweaty, looking like a pepperoni pizza, that's why. First box is from Nike. I hate how they're doing their boxes. They're super easy to open and they have a little slit right here so it's like, I don't know, man. I feel like a lot could go wrong during the transportation process. How's everybody doing, though? The weather in California has been a little bit weird lately. SoCal is getting hit with the hurricane. I'm not sure how severe the hurricane is, but uh, I hope everybody is doing well out there. From what I've seen, it's just a little bit of rain, a little bit of wind. Over here, it's a little bit cloudy, but that's pretty much it. All right, the first box we have is a Nike box. We got a size 10 pair of... You guys probably guessed it the brand new Black Toe Air Jordan 1s. The main thing that got me about this shoe is the quality of the leather. I think this shoe right here is just the perfect everyday casual wear shoe that you could just beat up. If you don't have a black, white, and red pair and you're not trying to spend a hell of money on shoes, this one is a good one. And I've also seen a lot of people put cream laces in these, so I might go ahead and do a review, kind of like what I would wear with it or something. Just an in-depth look at this pair right here. But overall, man, I think for the quality, the price, you just can't go wrong with this pair right here. So this one was just a personal, nothing too crazy. I believe some pairs are still sitting at the mall if y'all are trying to cop. Whoa, why is this one open? Oh, oops, this one's not a shoe, my bad. <laughs> This one was garbage. Oh, I know what these are, I know what these are. We got another personal pair right here. Red Nike box, size 10. We have the Nike Vomeros. This colorway glows in the dark and it's not your typical green glow in the dark. This one has a nice blue effect. And from what I've seen is it lasts a little bit longer than the normal greens. The Vomeros have been one of my go-to sneakers to wear just because they're so comfortable and the price point isn't too bad on this shoe. I like this colorway because it's a very subtle colorway but it does have an extra hit of detail with that glow in the dark. So I feel like you can't go wrong with this colorway. Just as a personal pair, I think this is a solid one. Here are the other two colorways that I own. This one gets worn a lot. Another personal pair. All right, let's get a little bit more spicy. Okay, we have a box from Adidas now. Adidas with the tape packaging. I like this one more than the Nike packaging. If y'all have been keeping up with sneakers, you probably know that Adidas has been doing a lot of Yeezy drops. So this pair right here is from the Adidas Confirmed app. And I'm gonna be honest, I just entered to see if I would win anything. And surprisingly, your boy finally won something. We have a size 11 pair of... Dun, da, da, dun. The Yeezy Foam Runners. You know, I've been seeing these sell for like the 150 up range and I never realized how low the retail price is on this pair. I think it's around $90. So this one's not gonna be a personal. I just bought this for the flip. From the last time I checked, you could double your money, which is a pretty dope flip for this shoe right here. I used to have a pair and a lot of people say they're comfortable, but for me, it's just one of those things that it just doesn't look good on me. A lot of people pull it off though, but this is, this is just not it. That's just how I'm feeling. You guys let me know what you think, but I'm always looking to buy extra inventory for my shop. And speaking of my shop, I'm doing a quick drop on some AirPod Pro cases. I just stocked a bunch of them on the website. So if you guys want some AirPod Pro cases to help protect your AirPods, check the link down below in the description. Every time you guys purchase something on my website, it supports this channel. So I do appreciate it. And just by watching these videos, you guys support the channel as well. So thank you so much. Okay, let's get into the last box right here. This one is a for sure personal pair. See the box. I always have a hard time pronouncing this name. Is it Sweet Coke? Sweet Coke? Sweet Coke. I don't know, man. I don't know. But I got these from the Bodega website. So retail on these slides is $225, which is crazy expensive, especially just for being a slide. But right now, Bodega's doing a sale where a bunch of their Sweet Coke slides, however you wanna say it, are on sale. So I think I got these for 120 bucks. I really like this slide just because it's super comfortable and I like the design of it. The two straps, it looks super rugged. And if you guys know me in person, you already know that I prefer wearing slides over sneakers. It's just easier to slip on. It's more comfortable for me. The only time that I'm really wearing shoes is like when I'm popping out and I'm going somewhere. Maybe I'm going to a nice dinner or something like that. If it's just a normal day and I'm just out and about running errands and stuff like that, 
I'm probably in some slides. Um, I ended up getting another pair of shoes right here just to review for you guys. I ended up purchasing the Adidas Sambas. Right now, this is probably one of the more popular models of sneakers just for everyday casual wear. So I went ahead and bought it to do a review for you guys. So right now, I'm kind of in the mix. I'm like, man, I see so many people hyped about these. But when I go ahead and wear them, I'm like, I don't really get the hype. Like, they don't really look good. I personally don't know if I can pull these off. I think they look a little funky on me, but I might have an extreme extremely honest review coming very soon on these Sambas. All right, so I went ahead and bought these to do a review for you guys. But that is going to wrap this video up. I've been dedicating a lot of time learning the art of tattooing. So whenever I have extra time, I'm gonna make sure to make some videos for you guys. But today's video was super quick. The schedule has been hectic. So just bear with me guys. I feel like I'm in school again. But yeah, we're gonna make this work. I'll see you guys very soon for the next video. Thank y'all so much for watching. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out, peace. Shh.